Shut up, don't file suit to stop federal government. They did not spend 37 billion naira on top renovation of National Assembly. Can one start to pay 30,000 naira minimum wage? And police don't kill one person. Come arrest four other people who have been trying to rob bank for inside Abuja. FIRS now don't give 30 days deadline to taxpayers to get tax clearance certificate. Good afternoon, welcome to Wazobia Max TV. Now, as you take happen now we day on top, my name is Adate Ogunkwe. Inside the first story, as in Matabi, we hear say they don't summon service chiefs to presidential villa to meet with President Muhammad Dubari. And as in Matabi, we will carry the full tour we can give you for inside our next bulletin. On top, another story where we say we carry come social economic rights and accountability project that's now set up. Budget enough is enough, plus including 583 concerned Nigerians. They don't file lawsuits now, as they tell Federal High Court for inside Abuja. Say, make it stop President Mohamed Dubari and the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, make them no spend 37 billion naira, give Federal Capital Development Agency. Maybe say they won't use take renovate National Assembly complex until they say they don't check them well to know where the money they enter. As it be so, them talk say the 37 billion naira where it be say the one use renovate national assembly complex say it they illegal and you know they our law book at all at all. And say this one now, now less money for education for out of school children for inside Nigeria. And the one where we say they supposed to provide better clean water and health care to Nigerians, even to repair roads and plenty bridge for inside the country. Does the matter be they never fix any date for the hearing of the suit? And for inside another Tory, Nigerian Army Guards Brigade inside this weekend being climbed as a rock now for inside Abuja. And this is now one of the ways where BC they take check the cajadness of military people on top fitness. The Asso Rock where they climb on an annual exercise where BC the brigade they do at the end of every year. As they are on top of the rock, the commander guard brigade, that's now Brigadier General. Muhammad Takuti Usman, he talks say the rock now where be said then climb ego help army people now today strong where we and today rugged for war front. The 1,340 meter climbing exercise where be said then do. The answer now over 5,000 Nigerian military people, paramilitary agencies, member of a diplomatic corps and the general public now in follow climb the rock. And we shall probably come out from inside that so we enter for inside Kano. Kano State Government now don't finish the arrangement to start the payment of 30,000 Naira minimum wage. After the meeting between the state government and the Joint Public Service Negotiation Council for Inside Kano on Thursday, them agree say them, they agree to make Kano start the payment of a dis, for December this year. For the letter where we say they are, the agreement they inside, they say the payment of the new minimum wage go start from December 2019. And they go start to pay the arrears of um, April to November 2019, small, small. People will be said they therefore inside the signing. Now the permanent secretaries of a um, Ministry of Planning and Budget, plus including Finance, where be said the state chairman of NLC and the state chairman of Trade Union Congress been support. And still for inside Kano, this one are another Tory. As a matter be. Many people now don't they yam plenty things for dear. As Kano government now don't give order, make them no allow keke riders now to they carry man and woman inside one keke. Make we remember say Kano state governor, that's now Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, where the commander general for inside Kano state, Kano Hizba board, that's now Sheikh Haruna Ibn Sina being represent. As seen the year now for the closing of the 77th annual Islamic vacation course where them do for inside Bayero University for Kano. Him say from January 1st, 2020, they go ban men and women now to they enter the same keke. The Commander General now for inside Kano talk say anybody where be say in obey this law go pay fine of 5,000 and their 10 strokes of cane or say they go collect in keke for six months. Some keke operators now being young with Wazobia Max TV for inside Kano. They say now better things where they, this one they do. And they say Kano na Islamic State. Other people now come here and say the state na commercial center. And say plenty of people with different different religious background they for inside the state. Man keke, woman go enter woman keke. 
this matter because it's not comfortable for anybody because you feel late when you are waiting to see only keke that will carry with a woman when you say only man you cannot enter because where you are going if it is rainy season that is where you stand there you rain will be beating you you'll be suffering like say ah for what if they want to enter bus they will choose only men what of bus i know they're comfortable I, keke will carry man go carry woman abba uh-huh like me now, I'm having a sister and a mom. If we are going out, they will be expecting us to enter different keke. And those keke riders, like, it's not going to favor them. And even the passengers too. That means every woman, if she's going out, she's going to take a drop or something. Because no keke na pep rider will love to carry one person and they will expect you to look for that same sex before you reach the destination. So, and if you said, as a driver, if you said you want to take one passenger, if you charge that passenger, that passenger cannot pay the amount that you will take to that destination. You get? So, like, seriously, it's not ideal. It's good for Ganduje to make that decision. Because in, here is Northern States, because it's Islamic uh, side. So, all the ma, let Ganduje do that. Let women have their own private keke, let men have their own private keke. The order I don't think it's the right thing to do because traveling, when you are traveling, you understand, people, you, you cannot separate man and woman, you understand? Because if you want to separate them, there's no way you can separate man and woman. I don't think it's very, I don't think it's fair. It's not fine. Because you may stay with your, you may be going with your sister. And there's no way you will leave your sister and join under transport. And your sister will join under transport. You know it's not good. And maybe you are with your wife. Or maybe you are with your girlfriend. Because people have friendship, um, relationship with boy and girl. That kind of thing. So I don't think you will leave your girl to another person to take. And for you to go away. I don't think it's possible. Unless, what I'm trying to say, if they are going to say that there will no longer be relationship between man and woman. That is the only way it will be possible. Whether I think they say, you know they're possible. Because I never see where woman drive keke. If it happens say, now only man, man, or woman, woman go enter the keke, then the driver should be woman then. And by, because if the woman, if the man they drive, and you, you don't allow another man enter the keke, you know make sense. So, and whereby you say woman, woman, keke, man, man, that's why, you know, you know, you know, you know, makes sense. Um, I Still on top of the matter, the chairman of a tricycle operators association for Inside Kano, that's now a large Sanu, say Edu Dankoli. He has seen a welcome development be this one and say this new law now they in line with the Islamic Sharia. He can they tell KK operators within the states to obey this new law? Not to uh, our business because, you know, we have plenty tricycle here in Kano, and anybody who take woman pest, she continue taking the woman. If she take men, she continue take the men. Therefore, there is no any thing that will affect this our business. As we know, and it's not a new law, or it's not new law and order. It's just that one is already, is even as I said before, even according to our Islamically, uh, that one is not good to mix men and women. And still on top of this new law for inside Kano, we go sharply connect with our Wazobia Max TV to repair in Dumibi or Dumegu, make it give us live update on top waiting people they yarn. Hi Dumibi. For inside this okay, for inside this uh, new law now we go for Kano. Waiting people where they streets they talk about them. Well, uh, many people don't mean the yarn because of their belly on top of the matter. Some people talk so the thing makes sense because the thing is done in accordance with Islamic um, Sharia rule. And if you check them, then say, Kano states now Sharia states because we get Muslims now in the dominated state. But on the other end, some people come to talk say, Igbo good though. If they do them, but say, make them not make them compulsory for people will not be Muslim. Now, why they talk this on now? Because they come on a commercial hub. Now, states when they say, all my picking of public from different ethnicity, different religion, then they here they do business. So they talk say, if you want to do that kind of instead of going to make you only affect the Muslims. Make you not cross affect people when not be Muslims. 
And if you remember, the before governor of Kano State, Malam Ibrahim Shekarao, if we don't come out, what introduced Ade de Kastaro, that time when he did say he ban Okada from Tokari or Tepude. As he come ban him, now they can't give people this keke. Same them use and they carry only women. But as governments come, they change, they change, they change. Everybody can't feed by the keke. And as everybody they buy them, they can carry the people where they want carry. So this law now where they don't drop for ground, many people now don't they talk say it makes sense. If they only restrict them to Muslims, but say if they carry a crossover to the Christian side, I'll be people where they'll be Muslim, I'll be people where they for another religion, I'll be ethnicity entirely. So the things will be go affect means of transportation because keke now one of the major means of transportation inside Kano State. All right, thank you very much, Dumibi, for that report where you carry come for us. Make we shall probably come out from inside that story, enter the next one where we carry come for you for today. For inside the next story, Islamic movement of Nigeria don't squeeze face now. Put on top the one where IBC Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami talks say the fate of their leader, that's Nasheikh Ibrahim Zagzaki, and his wife did the hand of a Kaduna state government and the governor Nasir El Rufai. For the talk paper where he said then carry come on Sunday, the talk person of the group that na Ibrahim Musa, he talks as the matter be say he know they possible now to come out the hand of President Muhammadu Buhari government as he be say they just want to keep Sheikh Zazaki and his wife. Still on top of the matter, the group still talk say the federal government been formed case for inside Kaduna three years after them keep the IMN leader and his wife. Come they accuse them now for inside Kaduna State High Court, say them they support killings. And according to the talk paper, the case against Sheikh Zazaki, not just the one where B say they won't carry use, they keep them for their hand. And on top, another story where we still carry come. Shapali move enter inside Lagos State. The one where BC hospitals they always reject gunshot victims on top of the excuse say them need to bring police report or to pay full money before them go start to they treat them, don't raise plenty concern now for inside Lagos State. Many gunshot victims then don't die while some other people, but the matter don't worse pass as it be. Sake of say them know they give them medical attention. The state government don't give hospitals them way they for inside the state order, plus including healthcare centers and clinics them to sharply treat gunshot victims and other trauma patients. And still as the matter be as I announced this one for Inside Talk Paper on Sunday, the State Commissioner for Health, that's now Professor Akin Abayomi, he talks say the other now day in line with the Federal Compulsory Treatment and Care for Victims of Gunshot Act 2017. Our Zobia Max TV to person that's now Maureen Ogolo, he go join us live from Lagos, Laosa, so that he could give us the full story about how far the government don't go on top of this new law where we say they put for ground. Hi, Maureen. Good afternoon. Hi. Okay. Okay, maybe that's uh, Shapa Literals.
Okay. Thank you, Maureen Ogolo, for that one way you carry come for us. Make we shall probably come out from inside the story, enter another one for today. Now, with the year, say police for inside Ogun State don't arrest one 23 year old man, we be a deco or will be, and a one pastor with the 42 years, in name Nashegun Philip. The person, a pastor of a white garment church, and the two be say they do, be say they kill one final year sociology student of a Lagos State University where her name be Favor Dali or Ladele. As a matter be, favor parents go away police station to report to say they are picking being come out from house since on the 8th of December 2019 and say she never still show face till now. And according by the talk paper where we say the police talk person of Ogun State Command being carry come, that's now Abimbola Uyeyemi. She yan say as they just get the report, say the DPO for inside Moway Division, that's now Mavis Jayola, consent police to come out now go touch light this matter, made them know waiting make favor, see the law still now. As they touch light the matter, Adeko Ola become confess, say he used Connie way carrying girlfriend, go Ikoyi Ile, where he be say him and the pastor Konkila take do money. And as the matter be the commissioner of police, that's now Kenneth embracing, he don't come out now, can't give orders. They make them transfer the suspect to go homicide section of the state criminal investigation and intelligence department for better touch lighting of the matter. And for inside another one, still this one, they happen for inside Abuja. Police now for inside the FCT don't kill one person. Come arrest four suspects then where it be said that they tried to rob one first generation bank for inside Papi for Abuja. The robbers then where it be said they break enter inside the bank around 10 o'clock for morning on Saturday. There have been no fit con robbers, police plus including army and the people from Department of State Security been stopped their operation. As it be said they just receive call sharply say something they happen for that area. According to the police talk person, that's the Mariam Yusuf, she talks that they don't arrest four of them while one, pet, one of the robbers don't die as they exchange bullets with police. My people, that's now the story where we carry come, but we still get business and sports story. No go anywhere. <music> For inside business, Federal Inland Revenue Service on Sunday don't announce them they give 30 days deadline now for taxpayers to get their 2020 tax clearance certificate, that one at TTC, and say they start from January 2nd next year. Executive Chairman Mohamed Nami talked this one for inside the tax talk paper where he say in signed by himself. He talk say the deadline now go end for January 31st and say they do them now to make an easy for taxpayers to get their TTC. He's saying they receive plenty complaint now where uh, taxpayers they complain give and say they always they had for them to get the TTC. In concern now as the matter be, say TTC now one of the things where be say contractors plus including service providers go use take fine TT, TCC now waiting contractors and service providers go use take fine contract get loans plus including renew their permits, do registration and other things that where be say they need them for. He said that's not why they can't make them easy for taxpayers now to get their TCC. He can they draw hand for here now, they want to say FIRS no go waste time at all at all to use force, take put fine on top of the bank account of companies where BC they know they pay tax. That's my business story for this afternoon. Make me check within the for sports. For inside sports, we hear say Ayumba don't lose 1-0 give Algerian side that's na Parado AC for inside their CAF Confederation Cup Group D uh, for inside State Mustafa Tacha Bleeder on Sunday night. As the matter be, Abdekadri Gorab, now he scored the winning goal for his home team inside the 64th minute. And we see here say this now the second time where we say Ayumba they lose for the group. Then we lose 2-0 to Hassania Agadri of Morocco inside that one. And we see here say for inside other group D game, say San Pedro of Cote d'Ivoire have been drawn 1-1 with Hassania Agadri. And as the matter still be, Hassania Agadri did top table with 7 points, while Parado na second with 4 points, Eim Bakon did third position with 3 points, and San Pedro na fourth position with 2 points. Now all the to read them be this, but before we go, make we still look all our top to read them again. 
Sarah Dunn filed suit to stop the federal government, made them not spend 37 billion naira on top renovation of National Assembly. And Kanuna wants staff to pay 30,000 naira minimum wage. Police don't kill one person, come arrest four other people who have been trying to rob bank for inside Abuja. FIRS don't give 30 days deadline to taxpayers to get tax clearance certificate, what they call TCC. Now all the Tory them be this as it take happen and still now on top of Azubia Max TV 90 day inside. My name now Adati Ongwe. Good afternoon. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.